Welcome to UTG TV, brought to you by Dance Party Massacre Clothing. Tonight we're in Grand Rapids, Michigan, to talk to an up and coming hip hop artist. Hippie I think, hop, hippie hop, baby. Hippie hop, hippie hop. I think it's really changing the game, ladies and gentlemen. Mod Sun, Mod Sun, MS Movement on Dream Stand Under Nut, Hippie Hop, Modern Sunshine. We do this. You literally just stepped off stage. I did. That's what I was just saying. I'm all sweaty. You got to warn him. I just got off stage. I'm not uh, usually that sweaty of a man. I'm not smelly either. So like. People that uh, that think that that put the hippie and the smell thing together, nah, man, I don't smell. I smell good, right? Right. No, smell fine. Now <laughs> you're on tour right now with your boy Johnny Craig. Yes, that's my homie, man. Just started. How's that been going so far? Yo, great. He rides with me because it's like I have like this is this is who I roll with. Just do a little camera shot. This is DJ Beanie. He takes up, care of the business up. too and that shit. So it's just me and him that roll. Can I swear on this? Yeah, system? go right ahead. I can go just all just out. Just go. Just fucking all. I played at church last night, so the first thing I did when I got on stage, I was like, fuck, shit, bitch, ass. All right, start. I just got them all out. Because yesterday they were literally made me sign a form and said, like, you will not play under the influence of alcohol. You will not use profanity. You will not be high under the influence of marijuana. Like all this shit, dude. All this shit. And I just signed I was like, Oh, God, how am I going to do this? But I always pull through. I do the PG, the Disney set. <laughs> but, yo, okay, back to it. Uh, it's fucking amazing, man. Johnny's uh, one of my best friends forever. He's a loose cannon, dude. Me and him, like, basically, like, we start a party, whether we're in Walmart or at the show or at our hotel or walking to fucking McDonald's. It doesn't matter, dude. We're, like, going insane. So, and then he travels in the van with me. So, I mean, he just gets nuts. So, yeah, it's been great, man. And it'll be, be even greater. Like, I did his first solo tour with him, too. And, uh, and this is his second solo tour. And so... You know, we had a fucking blast last time. Oh, for people that don't know about the hippie hop movement, you want to just fill people in a little bit? Yeah. So the hippie hop movement consists of, um, I don't, see, it's hard, it's hard to, uh, I try to stay as unclassified as possible when it comes to music lately. Like, my, my new theory on music is if it sounds good, it is. Like, I don't give a shit about what genre it's in, nothing like that. Like, so... People that like hate on a song say they're, you know, they point out something like, oh, I don't like that. Like, I try to do the opposite now, which is just find something I do like in every song. So, whether I'm listening to like Christina Aguilera or, you know, Soldier Boy or Johnny Craig or anything, you know, I just find the parts that I like and don't even think about the parts that I don't, you know what I'm saying? So, and hippie hop is kind of just like that. It's like, it's, uh, it's the positivity and the one love and the like, you know, just be happy that you woke up theory that the hippies, you know, brought with just like, you know, being happy to be alive, basically that kind of stuff. Mixed with the traditional hip hop, which is like what I love, you know, I love the, the raw stuff, I love poppy stuff, I love it all. So like, I get to mix it up, man. And since I didn't come in as being like, yo, I'm hip hop. I didn't come in as like, I'm rap. I just came in like, yo, this is my music. And then it kind of got classified as hippie hop. You know, someone else kind of said it. And I was like, yeah, I was like, that's what it is. You know, so it's like, you know, it's just uh, it's just a movement based on complete positivity. And that's it. And doing something that is just individual. You know, if someone else tried to be like, doing what I'm doing, it would just be hard for them to do it because I'm doing something out there that, like, really, I feel like I'm the only one that can fill this little space, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, got your niche. Yep, yep. Now, you had the Hippie Hop EP came out in January, I yep. believe, correct? Yes, sir, you're on so, your shit, bro. So the obvious question is, yeah. when's the album coming? I just actually did another EP. You I just did EP? it with, uh, with a dude named David Siegel, who, uh, he, uh, dude, he's produced tracks for T.I. and Britney Spears and Ricky Martin and Enrique Iglesias, all the crazy, like, I went down and did five songs with these guys, like, real legit, like, hits, basically, you know what I'm saying, but made it, like, viable where I don't have a label to answer to, because I do everything independently, all I have is legal representation, you know, somebody keep me out of jail and shit, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> that's all I got as a lawyer, and, um, so, like, uh, this is my first, like, super, like, good shit, but I don't have anyone to answer to, so the songs come out exactly how I want them to. I don't got a label say, oh, this needs to be more poppy, but I went down there with the consensus that I was going to make some hits, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm going to make another chapter to this whole career that I have in mind, where I've got the mixtapes, got the Hippie Hop EP, which is all completely natural, warm. I did every beat on it myself, you know what I'm saying? Me. Exclude with the exclusion of one, which I bought from this dude, Static Select, who's crazy producer. Um, but um, yeah, so I made all the other shit, and then this I actually went and worked with producers, so it's like on a whole nother level. And um, that's gonna come out, I 
think uh, definitely before Christmas. So that's good. That's good. I'm gonna do a mixtape before that. Yeah, another another, another mixtape. Yeah, another full mixtape, and then the EP is gonna come out following that, like a month later. What can what can we expect? It's gonna be like uh, it's gonna be like how to make a mod son. Yeah, it's gonna be like a continuation of that where I do a lot of like the talking stuff in between. Cause all these people have been telling me lately, like, dude, you should be a motivational speaker, like all this shit. Like, and everyone loves all those little talking segments that I do, like on the how to make a mod son shit. So it's gonna be like a continuation of that, but it's gonna be I think I'm gonna call it health, wealth, success and happiness. You heard it first, I've never told that to anyone. Health, wealth, success and happiness. That's like the basic things that like and every time I cheers a beer or cheers a drink with someone I say to health, wealth, success and happiness. It's like the like basis of my uh, my life. And it's in no particular order, but you know, health is probably the most important. So health, wealth, success and happiness, man, that's all you need. So it sounds like you have a busy fall plan, but Fuck uh, yeah, dude. Are you Always going to busy. the Cannabis Cup this year? Man, I'm going to try to. It's around Thanksgiving again, so I'm going to try to get out there. But I have, I'm have i literally booked right now, like, almost up until Christmas. I think I have a break, so I might fly out there and try to do it. Might fly out there and try to do it again. We've, uh, we're have we big fans of the series, the Monster yeah, TV. We've seen these videos. I got these guys are the illest, yeah. man. Fuck yeah. yeah Fuck yeah, bro. That's what's up. Shout out to these dudes, man. Illest, if you don't watch uh, his series, he does have his own video series online. Yep. YouTube.com slash ModSun or just go to HowToMakeAModSun.com or just follow me on Twitter, which is just at M-O-D-S-U-N or hit me on Facebook or send me some nudes on MySpace, all that shit. <laughs> Man, I'm so on the internet, you might find a goddamn sex tape. How good is that, dude? I was just saying, no, but, but, uh, but yeah, man, hit me up. Like, I got, I, I keep real heavy on my internet shit, like, keep it going and stuff. So, yeah, man, I got a lot, a lot of, I shot, like, four music videos when I was out. I just got back from Australia New Zealand. I was just on tour over there doing big things and shit. But I even did one for, I don't know if you heard my song the same way. It's on yep, the Light yeah. show. I did yeah. a video for that, like. Real sick, real sick, yeah. Let's talk about that in a bit. Uh -huh. uh, so, after this Johnny Craig tour, what mm -hmm. else you got this fall show was? I started a tour a week after I had this one with a band called The Somerset. And um, a band called Stereo Skyline. Stereo Skyline. And a band called The Downtown Fiction. And I think one of my homies' band, Schoolboy Humor, is on a couple of the shows, too. They are, actually. Schoolboy yeah. Humor's on there. Yeah, so it's going to be crazy. But, yeah, that's my plan. That's uh, what I got going on. Um, so, yeah, I'm done with this tour. Like, literally, what the last like the last month and a half was um, tour in Australia, tour in New Zealand. Got home from, a tw like, 22 hours in the air, flying back from New Zealand. Got home, was home for, like, eight hours, then drove to meet up with this tour. Then I got this tour, then I drive back. I'm home for like five days, and I drive to meet the next tour. Dude. So it's like heavy grind, dude. Keep it moving. Yep, I do. I do. All right, I got it. Got it. Got All right, it. so keep your eyes out for a mixtape, new EP this fall, winter, some point. Yep. Tours. Mm -hmm. If you aren't on the Mod Sun movement, you got to get on this. Get on it, man. These dudes are way ahead of the time, dude. That's what we try to do. We're like fucking Fonzie in the happy days, dude. You want to get doing shout-outs before we go? Yeah, man. Shout-out to my best friend, Mikey Bryant. He's the coolest fucking kid in the world, straight up. Um, shout-out to my dude, DJ Beanie, right over here. Shout-out to uh, Scary Kids, Scaring Kids, Johnny Craig, Team Mills, all my people, dude, all that. Everyone follow me on Twitter. Everyone that already does, you guys are also ahead of the game. Everybody, man. Let's just be happy, dude. And like I like to say, this is how I want to wrap it. <laughs> this is how I want to wrap it, blah, blah, blah. I start wrapping. No, no, no. no. <laughs> um, this is how I want to wrap it up. Is that I don't want to make one fan. I don't want any fans. I don't want any of that shit. All I want is friends. So I'm not doing this to try to be like, yo, be like me. Like, I'm the cool guy. Like, look at me behind the rope. Like, I just want friends. That's it. So... You don't have to like hip-hop. You don't have to like this shit. Fight Fair. Shout out to Fight Fair, too. Fight Fair is the illest, man. Fight Fair is dope. Um, you don't got to like hip-hop. You don't got to like necessarily my music even. But just know that I'm not doing this for any bullshit reason, man. I just want to make friends all around the world and do my thing, spread positivity. That's it. So I'm just having a good time, and I hope you enjoy it. These are my people right here. These guys are great. They came with a great fucking interview. I yeah. appreciate it. We're going to do this until the day I'm done, man. We're going to be doing interviews together. So keep your eye out. All right. It's been UTG TV. We'll see you next time. UTG, baby. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. So just join it. Action speak, so I'm doing what I think's right. And saying things. I'm just someone said to me like, it's all matter what you're doing.